Hey everyone, this is Will. So in this video, I'm not going to go through all of the features and compare everything step by step, but rather than that, I'm going to tell you the things that you really need to know that will make an actual difference and that hopefully will allow you to decide which tool is better for you, Elementor or Divi. I do have special discounts for both of these, so check out the links down below in the description. Now let's jump straight into the video. So the first thing I want to start from is widgets or modules on Divi. So what this means is basically the different elements that you can have on your website. So as you can see here, you can have your text editor, your image, heading, you can have videos, you can have buttons. Uh, Google Maps dividers and so on so I hope you understand these are all of the different elements that you can put on a page and when it comes to elements as you can see Elementor has a lot of different elements to choose from Divi does has a lot of elements as well but Elementor has a few more but at the end of the day honestly even though Elementor has more elements you have all of the main elements for Divi, so I would really say that if there is something that you know you will specifically need for your website, before you decide which theme to choose, just go on both of them and check whether they actually have that module. Otherwise, I honestly never really lacked that many modules on Divi because as I said, they have all of the main ones and there are third parties that sell these um, elements or modules, widgets, uh, however you want to call them. Um, so you can buy uh, some of them if there's something that you are missing. But if you really care about this a lot, um, in general, Elementor has a few more. The next point, and this is pretty important, I would say, one of the <laughs> more important points, uh, the layouts. So Divi has a lot of layouts as you can see 1246 layouts in total and they are always bringing in new layouts they're making up new layouts um, and if we go to Elementor you will see they have 200 plus templates and honestly you might think that okay I'm using these builders to actually customize my website so I might just build everything myself but believe me this makes your work a lot easier just not needing to build everything from scratch and it doesn't mean that you have to use the whole template by the way you might just take some elements from a template that's what I often do when I go to let's say Divi I often see that there is this one cool element in one tablet or one or cool element in another one and I like to combine all of the different things so it's sort of I get um, inspiration and I also just save up a little bit of time because I don't need to be build these specific modules widgets from scratch. Uh, so Divi definitely wins on this side. They have way, way, way more and this number is constantly increasing. I don't remember what it was when I started, but it was much, much smaller than what it is right now. And another really cool thing is that if, as you can see here, they have layout packs. So what they have, let's say, let's open the agency. So you will see that they have different pages. So they have the about page, they have blog, contact, home, landing, portfolio, and pricing. And when it comes to Elementor, they just have basically um, sole pages that are just pages by themselves. But as you can see, all of these pages, they have very different designs. And why that can be a problem is if you want to kind of just quickly take some templates and apply that to the website and have the same type of theme throughout the website, it's going to be hard to do that with the templates that Elementor is providing because they are for, they don't have um, one design for all of the different pages that you have on one website, which Divi has. As you can see here, it's exact same design throughout all of the different pages. So you can just put that on one website and everything looks like it belongs there. So that's one thing to also take into consideration. And it all again depends on how exactly you are planning to build your websites and how much, you know, whether you want to choose 
um, different elements and kind of combine them and build a lot of from scratch or you want to sort of just like take what already exists and just apply that. Another cool thing is Divi has this page with Divi resources and often in here they have some cool things, little freebies that they give out as well that's not necessary in the layout library but they give you sometimes, um, they have some guides how to create really cool things uh, but they also sometimes just give you out, let's say, um, where was it, uh, I saw, okay, coaching layout pack sometimes they just have like uh, different parts so let's say they would have just um, uh, footer I think that was okay here we go so get a free blog post template and here get the free header and free footer so sometimes they also just give out free sections of a website so that's one uh, more thing as well but then again you can try to go on some other websites and both Divi and Elementor they have really big communities and sometimes you can get some of these layouts for free as well so this is one point that I didn't see any other reviews mentioned but this is really big so what Divi allows you to do is Divi has built in split testing so basically you can a b test so you can create one design and then you, you can create another design and basically see which one performs better. Uh, how many people clicked through design A, how many people clicked through design B, uh, through design C, how, <laughs> how many you want to make, and then you can decide which one works the best. And this is really big because this basically just allows you to optimize your conversions and get more from your website. Technically, you can do the same with Elementor, However, Elementor doesn't have this function built in. So what you need to do, they have this guide where you can um, connect Elementor to with Google tools and have this whole setup where which will allow you to actually track and A-B test. But then you are using Google tools and you have to go through this connection and all of that, whereas Divi already has that built in. So again, you need to think about is that important for you? Are you going to A-B test um, how important this marketing for you is? And that should help you out. So the next thing is pricing. And when it comes to pricing, uh, Elementor, why a lot of people started with Elementor is because they do have a free plugin. However, it is limited. So most likely you are going to end up getting a license. And as you can see here, uh, for the personal plan, the license costs $49 per year for one website. And if you want more than that, then you get um, three websites for $100 a year and $200 a year is 1000 websites. And if we look at the pricing with Elegant Teams, uh, which are the builders of the Divi theme, um, one year access costs $89 uh, and then $250 for a lifetime update and you can have as many websites with this by the way as you want. So what it comes really to is that if you really <laughs> don't have a lot of cash you might want to go with Elementor because it is cheaper. If let's say you're just looking to get something right now, then for one year, you can get one year for only $50. Whereas here you're going to be paying for Divi, you're going to be paying $90. However, honestly, um, I think this is better a deal. And I'll tell you at the end, when I'll summarize all of this, I do like Divi more than I do Elementor. So I think Divi is worth those extra uh, $40 and especially if you're building more than one website because if you're building more than one website, you are going to, with Elementor, you're going to pay at least $100 then. And that is only for three websites as well. So I have way more websites than that. So this wouldn't even be enough for me. So this is kind of what you need to take into consideration. And the really, really cool thing about Divi is that you can buy a lifetime package for 
$50. So I would really honestly recommend to do that because one year, sometimes it takes a minute to build an online business. And I would say if you're not successful yet after one year, I would say don't give up and go at it again. So most likely you're going to spend, um, you're going to buy more than just one year. So if you have the cash right now, I would say just buy the lifetime access and that's it because eventually you're going to end up, those years are going to add up and you're going to um, be spending extra money that you know you could, ha you could have just bought this lifetime access and that's it. And honestly, that's what I done before as well. For some reason, I honestly don't even know why, but I bought the yearly, with Divi, I bought the yearly package for three years. And then eventually I was just like, what am I doing? I just need to buy the lifetime license and that's it. So I spent the same money uh, paying three years for as I would have spent for the lifetime package and then I got the lifetime package. So I gave them a bit more money than, um, than they wanted, but, or well, than they request. But uh, honestly, it's an amazing theme. So they do deserve that. So next thing that I wanted to mention is uh, the support. And when it comes to support, honestly, I am not a huge fan of either support, neither uh, Elementor nor Divi. However, Divi seems to be a little bit better. They do have both of these, they have community, so you can go on Facebook groups and forums, and sometimes other people might help you out. However, when it comes to the actual support, it does take quite a bit of time, but DV is a little bit better. It has a live chat and you can create support tickets and you can even give access for their developers to come and see what's really happening with your website. If the issue that you're having can be, you can solve it yourself with their help through email, then they can actually access your website. So I would say, if that is important for you, and this is kind of important, Divi seems to be a little bit better, um, but again, it's a little bit hard to judge this kind of thing. One more thing I wanted to mention is that Divi has comes with Monarch plugin, and Monarch plugin is basically a social sharing plugin. So as you can see here, you have the buttons. So this is just one little nice plus that you can have um, this plugin already coming with Divi and it has all of the customization and all of that. And the <laughs> most important thing probably out of all of this is the actual builder, how you build pages. And in terms of all of the features and all of that, when it comes to Elementor and when it comes to Divi, yes, there are a little bit different features. They do have what I mentioned already before, the different widgets and the different modules. However, more or less, I would say most of the features um, are the same between these two themes. They might be a little bit different, but mostly it's the same concept. However, when it comes to building the actual page, they are pretty different. So for Divi, you have the visual builder, which is kind of the front end builder. And for Elementor, it's more of a drag and drop builder. So as you can see right here, you have your elements on the side and then you drag these elements and you put them into the page. And that isn't anything bad. However, the one problem that I do have with it is that if you want to adjust your elements, then you need to go back to this um, section on the side and you need to adjust, let's say, the width and the height by dragging or by inputting exactly the value that you want. So you can't really go on the website itself and just drag, let me just show you. And uh, if you go to Divi, for example, if I come in here and let's say I want to um, have a little bit bigger gap in between this text and um, all of these icons, then I can simply hover over and I can drag this out just like that. And that makes editing or creating the website much, much faster. So this is one of the big things. And also the thing with Divi is that when you're editing this page, 
you see the full page, you see um, what it's going to look like full width as other people are going to see it. Whereas when you're doing it with Elementor, because you have this uh, side section, it's not showing you exactly what the website is looking full width. And when you press or to put the section back um, or well, get the lead, the lead the section, then you see what the website lo looks full width. But that's just one little thing that's not a major thing, but I think with Divi is just a little bit easier to actually be doing all of the editing. And again, if you want to um, add whatever different blocks and whatnot, you just press on this plus icon and then it allows you to choose all your sections and it allows you to choose the modules that you want to insert on these sections. So I, in terms of user interface and how convenient it is, I definitely would say that Divi is better, at least for me personally, but then again, some people really enjoy Elementor more. So you really have to decide for yourself which one you actually prefer because in essence, they are pretty much the same. Majority of the features are the same. However, you have to decide what kind of page builder you want, whether you want a drag and drop or you want more a visual builder. And when it comes to layouts, Divi is definitely way better, which I think is pretty important. And when it comes to pricing again, yes, for one year, you can go, if you have only one website, Elementor only costs $50. However, honestly, I would go with Divi and get the lifetime plan for $250. I think that is definitely a great, great deal and Elementor doesn't have a lifetime plan. So I hope this video was useful. I hope it's going to help you make a decision. If it was, press thumbs up on this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, put on those notifications so you see more videos like this, reviews of products that might be useful for your your business. I do also have another channel that is all about online marketing and all that kind of good stuff. So check that out. I will put a link down below in the description. Stay awesome and I'll see you soon.